nestled in the stunning Churnet Valley of Staffordshire lies the Oakmore Railway Tunnel, a hidden architectural marvel that once served as a vital artery for England's Industrial Revolution. With Stoke-on-Trent and its surrounding area bypassed by the railway network, 1845 saw the Staffordshire Potteries and Churnet Valley Railways join forces under the banner of the North Staffordshire Railway to promote two main lines. One would connect the Manchester and Birmingham Railway at Congleton to the Grand Junction Railway at Colwich, whilst the second would run from Macclesfield to join the Midland Line near Burton-upon-Trent. The company was formally incorporated in April of 1845 and six months later the Derby and Crewe Railway was absorbed into the same scheme. The three North Staffordshire Acts were passed in June of 1846, with seven years permitting for the completion of each line. £1.2 million was allocated for the construction of the route through the Churnet Valley, taking in Leek, Cheadle and Utoxeter. One major drain on that capital however came in the form of Oakamore Tunnel. Opening its doors to the first traffic in July of 1849, this 497 metre long tunnel was an integral part of the North Staffordshire's railway. Constructed primarily from blue brick with stone portals and boasting a horseshoe shaped profile, Oakmore Tunnel features unique characteristics such as occasional rock outcrops near the former track level and an alignment curving to the west. Despite its closure to rail traffic in the 1960s due to the beaching cuts, the tunnel's echo-filled passageways continue to tell tales of innovation, loss and the passage of time, offering a glimpse into the steam-powered era. Over the years, the absence of maintenance has led to the tunnel's deterioration, with the brickwork showing significant wear and parts of the external lining collapsing, raising concerns about its structural integrity. This deterioration is most evident at the northern end, where moisture and freezing conditions have taken their toll. Nevertheless, the tunnel now serves a new purpose as a home for bats, under the custodianship of Staffordshire County Council, highlighting its ongoing importance to both history and nature. The tunnel's northern portal is shrouded in dense woodland, making it a hidden treasure for those willing to explore, while the southern portal is more accessible, lying within the grounds of a Grade 2 listed former crossing keeper's home, now a popular holiday cottage. Across the road from this is the island, a row of houses between the Churnet and the Mill Race that were built for the railway workers. On the site of Oakamore Station, only the platform remains. The station house was deliberately burnt down one morning in 1970 and the stone removed for use elsewhere. The 497 yard tunnel could potentially reopen if the plans by Churnet Valley Railway come to fruition. The tunnel was notorious for being wet when in use and is used by a number of bats as a roosting spot. These issues will need to be overcome before steam trains can come charging through here again and with the current legislation in place protecting the species, this seems to be very unlikely to happen. The conjunction of accessibility and seclusion adds to the allure of Oakmore Tunnel, making it a fascinating subject for exploration, as it encapsulates the rich industrial heritage and the natural beauty of the Churnet Valley.